Welcome back to In the Shadow. Today is a quick video and it's how to install E6i from USB. So let's get right into it. You'll need two things for this. One, E6i bootable USB. Check out back in my videos on a guide on how to do this. Two, you'll need a host that is capable of virtualization. I have a Dell R410 here that I'll be using. That's it. Next we're going to install the USB. Pop it right into the USB slot. Good job. Now onto the cables in the back so we can interface with the console. I use a KVM so I have a VGA and USB to plug in. Next are the network wires. The blue is for data and the yellow is for management. Yellow goes into the iDRAC. After that is power. We have two power supplies and we'll be powering both. Once that's completed we can go ahead and power on the machine. Let the host post and go ahead and enter your boot manager once that's done. Once inside your boot manager, select the USB device so you can boot from it and go ahead and boot from it. This takes you into the ESXi installer. Once E6i is fully loaded, the installer will ask you to press enter to continue. We'll want to press enter to continue. After that, it will come up to the end user license agreement, where we'll have to press F11 to accept and continue. Once you press F11, it will scan for devices. This scan is looking for available devices to install upon. It may take a few seconds, as it says on the screen. Once it's found, it will come up with what's available to install the device on. We're going to go ahead and reinstall it onto the USB that we originally actually made the installer on. Go ahead and click the USB, enter and it will actually allow you. From there we're going to click enter again telling it that we want to go ahead and delete everything off the disk. We're going to select their default language After a bit of scanning it will come up asking you to continue the install. Press F11 to continue with the settings you've set for the install. From there, E6i will begin installing. Once E6i is finished installing, it will ask you to reboot. Click enter to reboot the host. Once E6i is fully loaded, you'll see the following screen. Below you'll see how to download tools and manage the host. Your host should automatically pull an IP address from DHCP. If your host is not pulling an IP address via DHCP, this could be due to many reasons. The most common occurrence is due to the wrong NIC being plugged in when there is more than one NIC available on a host. That brings this tutorial to a closure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the lab.